Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this video today where we're gonna solve a system of equations using all three methods, graphing, substitution, and elimination. And we're gonna see something very special happens with the solutions. Given this system right here of x plus y equals four, a nice equation that's in standard form, and this other equation y equals two x minus two, which is in slope intercept form, we're gonna solve the system, we're gonna get our solutions, and again, we're gonna see something very special about the solution. So first, I want to graph this equation of x plus y equals 4. Now, there's a couple things I could do for graphing. I could either rearrange this equation and put it into slope-intercept form and then graph it that way, or when it's in standard form, it's actually really nice to find the intercepts. Remember, to find the x and y intercept, you simply plug in a 0 for x and then a 0 for y. So if I was to go ahead and plug in a 0 for x, 0 plus y equals 4. So if I plug in a 0 for x, that means the y has to be 4. 0, 4 is one of my intercepts, and it would be right here. If I plug in a 0 for y, x plus 0 equals 4. That would mean that x is actually 4. So my intercepts are 0, 4, and 4, 0. And if I connect those points, I get that nice line. If I had rearranged this equation, it would have looked like y equals negative x plus 4. So y-intercept at 4, a slope of negative 1, and I would get the exact same line. The next one is in slope-intercept form, so let's graph that. We know we plot our y-intercept first at negative 2. We then plot our slope of 2, so up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1, up 2 to the right 1. And then from that y-intercept, I'm going to go ahead and go down 2 to the left 1, and then draw my line. I can see pretty clearly where the intersection is. That's the key for a graph, is seeing where the two lines intersect each other. It's at this coordinate point. The coordinates are 2, 2, and that's my solution. If I went ahead and plugged 2, 2 into the equation, 2 plus 2 is 4. It works. If I plug in 2 here, 2 is equal to 2 times 2. It's a lot of 2s here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is that 2. So if I plug this solution, this 2, 2, back into my original equations and I get true statements, I know it's good. Now, substitution. Substitution is a method where we want one of the equations to be set equal to a variable. This first equation, x plus y equals 4, is not set equal to a variable. I don't have x or y by itself. But look at the second equation. This is actually already set up for y to be by itself y is equal to 2x minus 2, and I have it highlighted there for us. So that means wherever I see y in my other equation, I'm going to substitute in everything that y is equal to in for that y. So instead of this equation looking like x plus y equals 4, it's going to say x plus 2x minus 2 equals 4. Now I want you to really see what's happening here. y is equal to the entire expression of 2x minus 2. So wherever I see y in my other equation, I'm going to substitute that all in. So if you look at this first line and you look at this new line here from the third, first line to the third line, you can see the y was replaced or substituted with that 2x minus 2. And now I've got just a basic multi-step equation to solve, guys, that we've been solving for years. So x plus 2x is 3x. I'm going to go ahead, add 2 on both sides to get 3x equals 6, divide both sides by 3, and x equals 2. And that's wonderful. But let's remember, the solution when we graphed it was an ordered pair. It's an x and a y value. So if I have my x value, I still need to find my y value. So you can technically use either equation. I will always personally suggest if you need to solve for y, use the equation that's already y equals. So I'm going to use this equation here, y equals 2x minus 2, and I'm going to plug in or substitute this number 2 in for x. So instead of y equals 2x minus 2, it says y equals 2 times 2 minus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. And that's my solution, 2, 2. Last one, elimination. So I'm going to take this, these um, two equations. Now elimination works the nicest when both equations are in standard form. And the first equation is in standard form, x plus y equals 4, so I don't need to do any rearranging for that. But our second equation we know is in slope-intercept form. And in order to get that to be in standard form, I would need to move my 2x, my ax value, over to the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides so that my equation now looks like this. Negative 2x plus y equals negative 2. 
Now we learned for elimination that if I have opposite signs of the same variable, if I add them, they'll eliminate out. So if I was to add these two equations together, x plus negative 2x is a negative x. That doesn't eliminate out. y plus y is 2y. That doesn't eliminate out. So when addition doesn't work to eliminate, we use subtraction. Because if I do y minus y, my y's will eliminate out. So what I need to do is I need to subtract the entire second equation. So I put a minus sign here, parentheses around the entire second equation, and we can go ahead and do the math. x minus a negative 2x really means x plus 2x, which is 3x. y minus y, that's gone. And then 4 minus a negative 2 really means 4 plus 2, which is that 6. And this should look very, very familiar because we had 3x equals 6 here, which then leads me to x equaling 2 when I divide both sides by 3. And then just like the same step here, guys, if I have x, that means I need my y. I'm going to go ahead and use the y equals equation, substitute that 2 in, and I get 2 as well. If I had plugged in that 2 here for x, 2 plus y equals 4, I'd also get that y was 2. Notice, for each one of these different cases, graphing, substitution, or elimination. We all get the same solution. That's a really, really important skill to see and something to really make note of. Because let's say I asked you to solve a system of equations and I said, hey, you must solve this by graphing. And you go ahead and you graph it. And you're not sure if your graph is right. You could use one of those other two strategies to find the solution as well and then confirm that where your graph actually intersected was correct. And the same would be for any of those other strategies. If you were asked to use one of them as the method for a quiz or a test, you can always apply one of the other strategies as well to double check and make sure that it's good. And lastly, of course, always take the ordered pair that you get, substitute it back into the system. Always make sure, remember, everything is always about getting a true statement. And if you get a true statement, you know you're good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Bye.